I am super excited. I have BenQ latest SW display with me. This is the SW321C. This is their 32 inch 4K hardware calibrated display and it is the latest in the lineup. So I had a chance to preview this display at a few of the trade shows where BenQ have pre-announced this product and that was the pre-production unit. I'm really excited though because this is one of the very first production unit to come off of the assembly line and it's going to be really exciting unboxing it. So what I'm going to do here is take this out of the box, put it on the table and show you all the accessory that comes with the display. Then afterwards what I'm going to do is hook it up to a computer, give you my first impression of this display and then afterwards I'm going to do a whole lot more videos and comparison but that's for a future video down the road. I'm Art Suwan Sang, BenQ Ambassador and let's get unboxing. Before we unbox this display, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload new videos about the BenQ SW321C. Okay, let's get unboxing. So first, I'm going to move this down from my table that I have here. And this will be a much better angle for unboxing. Alright, let's see what comes in the box. So the thing that we have come to expect from BenQ ProLine displays for a very long time now is the individual calibration report. And it's always great to kind of open this up and really see the calibration report. And they have actually done a whole lot of granular calibration report here. They told you the device that they use. They talk about the color space that you can achieve and also the Delta E. So for instance, this specific panel, the average Delta E is 0.58 with a maximum Delta E of 1.24. And the uniformity across the board, it's actually really amazing. So there's two sheets of info here. Okay, let's continue with our unboxing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And let's go ahead and pull this tab up here. So one of the very first things that's going to be different than the other SW display that comes before it is that this display comes with its own cleaner or this roller here. One of my friend in BenQ actually called this the BenQ AccuRoller. Uh, essentially, it's a roller to clean your screen. Because of the new coating that BenQ have actually put on the SW321C, it's you know a lot more prone to fingerprints so they don't recommend that you touch the display at all and if you need to clean it because of dust and so forth you would use this roller and should this roller gets dirty just go ahead and rinse it in warm water and let it dry and then you can go ahead and clean the display with it so a really uh, nice touch there let's go ahead and take out the next part this is the stand so if you've unboxed SW before you're probably familiar with some of the parts already but let me go through this again. So this is the stand. Really sturdy, really great quality. It's something that we also come to expect from the SW line. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh yes, so this is an entire accessory box. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this accessory box here. So we have the BenQ LCD quick start guide. Now what, <laughs> what to do or what not to do. Uh, sad face there, kind of interesting. So let's open this up. One great thing I really like about the BenQ is that it comes with all the cables you're going to need. So this is the power cord, obviously it's going to come with that. But they also come with a USB-A to USB Type-B. This is for older computers or for PC that still uses this. It ships with a HDMI cord. A mini display port to full display port. And lastly, what we come to expect, a USB Type-C cable, because this is the one that is cable of USB Type-C, so obviously they're going to put a cable in there. And lastly, the second generation hockey puck. So we're going to go ahead and pull the hockey puck Gen 2 out of the box here. So I made a few videos about the second generation hockey puck already too, but this is their new gen second generation hockey puck. It is weighted, it feels really good in your hands, and the ergonomics of it, they have improved it quite a bit. Uh, with a lot more functionality as you can go in and customize it. So that's really awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the CD and everything back. And let's go ahead and pull this tray up. So they have an arrow here that's really neat, as you can kind of see from these two there. Go ahead and pull this up. Now the thing is that because the reason why I can't pull this up right now is because of this. There are pull tabs on the side here for you to help lift the display, but BenQ also made these things that you can actually go pull it out there and go ahead and pull the pull tab out on both sides. If you don't do that, it's going to lock the tray into place so that you can't really, you know, pull the actual cover tray up. So. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and lift this up. Perfect. So right below here, we've got this, uh, the plate here or the, the base plate for the display. All right, let's continue here. So one of the things that we also have is this box. This is a hefty box. I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. And this is the shading hood. So let's go ahead and pull these open. See what we have. So these are all the, sh uh, the pieces of the shading hood. We have the center piece here. This is where you would drop in the colorimeter right there. And it looks like this one is wide enough for you to drop in the um, i1 display pro without actually having it threaded the other direction so gonna try to test that out too side pieces of the shading hood let's go ahead and take that out here's also something to note about the shading hood for the sw321c also is that it comes with the pieces this is the center piece very similar to this very large one here, but it's actually a lot shorter in length. And this is actually to use the display in vertical orientation. So they have that here. So what you can do is you can kind of see there, it's pretty much the same piece. Let me go ahead and adjust this. I knocked this out of the tra track. So those are the two pieces right there. One of them is actually used for when you turn the display in vertical orientation, it comes with a shading hood for that. And also, when you do the display in vertical orientation, you're going to need two pieces to extend the side of the display, and it also comes with those pieces too. So you can extend the shading hood this way. Uh, it comes, like I said, with everything inside the box. I'm going to go ahead and leave that out right now because we're going to go ahead and set our display in horizontal orientation. Let's go ahead and close this out. Leave things in the box for now. All right. Now this is the SU321C. This is the big kahuna right here and it's amazing. So now that I have this out from the protective cover, there's a lot more instructions on this display. It's really nice actually. They actually put the quick start guide on the display with a few tapes on around the edges. Now that you have seen what comes in the box, let's go ahead and assemble this thing. So the stand latches together, you have to line up the triangle and you literally just twist it in and, and there's a screw to lock tight at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and set up the screen like this first. So what we're going to do with the screen here is go ahead and take it up. You can see there from the stand, let's go ahead and move this a little bit closer to the center. There we go. There we go at an angle like this. Move this out of the way. So literally what you would do here is hang the display at the very top like so, latch it in, and if it doesn't go in entirely, go ahead and press that button to make sure that it goes in. Now your display is on the stand, and like all the SW that come before it that I really enjoy about is the ergonomics. So let's talk about that briefly here. So what you have is a display that can actually tilt down, up like so. You can move the display side to side fully, like so. Display will also fall, rise, which is really neat. And the other thing too is that in this full upright position, you can go ahead and rotate the display so that you now have a vertical orientation, just like so. Go ahead and tilt it out first before you pivot it. And go ahead and tilt it back. So that's just something to note there. If you want to pivot your display, if you do it right there without pivoting it out, it will actually hit the base. So one thing that you want to do here in this case is go ahead and pivot it up like so, tilt it up before, go ahead and rotate it, and then you, go, you can then go ahead and put it back into position again. And when you want to rotate back, go ahead and tilt it up again, rotate it, then go ahead and put it back into position. Something to note there if you use your display in vertical orientation. And there it is, SCBU 321C. 
I don't know if you can see it from the side here, but what I can see right now is the matte coating. It's much more matter than the SW that I've seen before, but we'll do a quick preview of that too. Let's go ahead and put the shading hood up. And there we have it, the SW321C. Let me link up my computer to this and let's reset this face up a little bit and we'll talk about some of the features that it has. So here it is, the SW321C, 32 inch 4K display UHD resolution that is 3840 by 2160 for those of you out there that is wondering. 10-bit panel with a 3D lookup table so you can do a full custom hardware calibration on it. I haven't done the hardware calibration on this just yet because I just got the display but I want to talk about a few things first. It comes with a shading hood. In fact, this one is the one with USB type C, hence the C in the name. So right now it's linked to my 15-inch MacBook Pro using just one USB type C cable that's powering, that's giving 60 watt of power to my MacBook Pro. It is also carrying the display signal and also the I.O. input output signal for the two USB type A ports on the side of the display and also the SD card slot. The one thing that I love about 32 inch 4K display is that the experience is immersive and just standing here, it's just really an amazing experience just looking at this photo. But one of the things though that I found really impressive about this display when I was opening it up and setting it up is how matte the screen is. Having seen the pre-production unit on a trade show floor at various conventions that Ben Key was at doesn't really do it justice. Having it here, I can really see that this display, it's literally reflecting no lights at all. For instance, I can even angle this up so that the light is now really reflecting on this panel and you don't get the kind of reflection that you get with other panels. I mean, what I'm seeing right here, this picture itself, it is as if I'm actually looking at this print out on a matted paper. I mean, it's really that close to it. So just something to keep in mind here too. One thing I'm gonna do here is use a flashlight and I'm gonna show you this is that if I try to reflect this light off, by just doing that, you're only seeing one light and that's pretty much the light that's shining on the panel and is being scattered right away. If I do the exact same thing to the MacBook Pro here, you will see that there is shadows and reflections everywhere. In fact, I can point at the keyboard right now, this flashlight, and you can see that there is a reflection on the screen. In fact, if I actually hold it down at a very low angle like this, move it up and down, you will see that there's multiple different light swords being reflected. On this display, just one singular one and it's really scattered. The texture is really amazing. Now what I can do also is show you this on the screen off and you can see there that it's not even reflecting any more light than just the one being shine on it. But to really look at this coating, let's actually compare this to the previous generation of this display, the SW320. So for this segment, I have set up the SW320, which is the one right behind me here, and this is the SW321C. And when you compare them side by side, you can see something interesting right away, is that the SW320 is reflecting a lot of the fill light that I have in the studio, while the SW321C, it's barely reflecting anything. In fact, I have to literally angle it up by quite a bit for it to really reflect towards the bottom there. And then I also have to really turn this display towards the light source for it to reflect anything. The new matte coating that they have on the display, it's really amazing. Now the thing is that with the SW320 right here, what we can do is I'll go ahead and move this a little bit and you can kind of see that's without matting there. Uh, that's without any reflection. But if I actually turn it just towards the light a little bit, you can see that the reflection is much stronger than this reflection towards the light source right there. So you can see how the light scattering is working. See how much there's much more of a concentration here rather than this one, how it's much more scattering uh, of the light that's coming in. So that's really amazing. Combined this though with the shading hood that comes with the display, and this is actually fantastic. Now the thing is this, for the past few years, the SW320 has been my go-to display. It has been my daily driver. I really love working this panel. It's amazing, it's really immersive. But I really feel that the new SW321C is going to take the reign on this one and become my new default daily driver. Just look at the sheer matteness that it has in general. This is almost like Venta Black, which is like the most blackest black paint. So let's actually go ahead and power both of these display on. 
we can see. So the older one also flashes purple BenQ. This one flashes just literally a black BenQ logo. A lot more subtle, especially if you're working in a darker environment and you turn it on, you won't get like surprised by this purple light, which is great. Now what I have going on right now is a few things. So I have this picture showing in Lightroom. Let's go into full screen mode here. If you look at the colors right now, what you're seeing on the SW321C is gonna look really close to what I have here on my MacBook Pro. And part of the reason is because SW321C also has a new color mode called MBook, which is tuned to closely match Apple built-in display. And I have it set to MBook right now because I hadn't had the opportunity to run a hardware calibration on it yet. One more thing that I want to mention about the SW321 is that it has BenQ new technology called Uniformity version 2. The Uniformity version 2 was introduced with the SW270C, that is their 2K 27 inch display earlier, the one, the model before this one, and they also have introduced it into this model too. So if you see the picture right now, side to side, and also top to bottom, the uniformity and the evenness throughout is gonna be really amazing. This is gonna become really more prominent when I am looking at a photo that is majority white, for instance, since anything taken in the snow, or even if I just wanna do a test in Photoshop where I have full white, full gray, or full black, you're gonna see that is really even throughout the entire panel here. Now, lastly, what I wanna do here is show you a brief preview of Paper Color Sync. Now, I'm not really using the full Paper Color Sync color mode or the software installed on the computer yet. Right now, I'm just setting the display to MBook mode, but what I wanna do here is just to show you the texture of the display or the matte coating here compared to a matte print. And I have a few prints made out here, previewing on this light box. And a quick shout out also to GTI Graphic Technology Inc. They have provided this light box to me to do this video and I'm really appreciative of that. This is their PDV3E. This is the professional desktop model that they have. There's two fluorescent light bulbs in here that are dimmable. They're uh, calibrated at D50. So they're really calibrated to print here. And if you go to any professional print shops out there, many times they'll have a desktop version and a lot of times they'll also have the floor standing models too. So this is the gold standard for any kind of professional print viewing out there right now, GTI Lightbox. I've used this throughout my entire career and I'm actually glad that they actually have loaned me one for this video as well. So thank you so much, GTI. Now, what I'm just gonna do here is that I have a few pictures printed on my uh, on my regular Epson printer on matte paper. So what I'm gonna do here is just have you preview the pictures comparison side by side for the next few seconds here. This has been an unboxing and my first impression of the SW321C. One of the best features of this display so far for me has to be the matte coating. I have a feeling that this, along with the new color mode called Paper Color Sync, is going to be a big game changer for photography. In fact, I have a video on that feature specifically planned out already. And for that video, I'm going to print out many of my images on many paper textures and services from Canstone Infinity. And we're gonna do a comparison on the GTI light box and the display side by side. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel for that. Lastly, one thing that I want to mention here too is that this BenQ SW321C also has custom refresh rate that you can set to. And this is really designed for videographers so that you can set the refresh rate so that it matches with the video that you're filming or that you're editing. If you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release all these cool videos about the BenQ SW321C. And until next time, art is right.